Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what I'd like to do is go over how are you going to solve a literal equation. And basically, a literal equation just means that it's, a, it's an equation that either is all variables or is going to have more than one variable. But we're only going to solve for one variable. So our most famous that we like to work with, um, you know, with the variables is, I would say, like a linear equation. If I had 3x minus uh, 4y equals 12. This is a favorite one of mine. And when we want to solve, uh, this would be a literal equation because it involves uh, numbers, but it also involves uh, x, you know, two variables. And a lot of times, if we want to solve for, you know, to put this into slope-intercept form, we have to be able to solve for y. So when you're solving a literal equation, it's the exact same thing as solving a linear equation, you know, for a variable. But now you just ha you're, what you're going to have is your answer is going to be term in terms of your other variable. So if I wanted to solve for y, basically what I have to do is undo what's happening to my variable. And rather than it just being added by 3, it's now being added by 3x. So I have to subtract 3x. And what also gets a lot of students is basically when we were solving equations, you know, it was always like terms. Well, here, 12 and negative 3x are not like terms. So I can't combine them. So I'm just going to leave it as 12 minus 3x. Then I undo multiplication by negative 4 by dividing by negative 4. And I have y equals um, 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. And negative 3x divided by negative 4 is a positive 3 fourths x. A lot of times we write this now in our slope intercept form. What the heck did I do there? I don't know where all that came from. Uh, negative 3 4 x minus 3. OK. Now, that's one type of literal equation. And basically, again, if I can just drill it home with you, it's just like solving any other equation, except literal equations involve numbers or one or more variables. So let's go ahead and look at a, another equation where there is no uh, uh, variables, or no, is no uh, numbers. And most of those are very common in formulas, right? So what if I did volume equals base um, Length times width times height. Okay, so for a rectangular prism, this would be the volume. Now, a lot of times when we're solving rectangular equations, we say, you know, solve for certain variables. For instance, if I said solve for w, well, if I want to solve for w, what I need to do is say, all right, what is happening to my w? Well, it's being multiplied by l as well as being multiplied by h. And a lot of times that might be not as obvious there, so maybe we'll write it like this: w first. L times H. So since it's being multiplied by both L, and, both L and H, I have to divide by both L and H. Therefore, W equals volume divided by L times H. So when we're, un when we're solving a literal equation, look at your variable that you're solving for. Look at the operations that are happening to it. And it's OK if it's in numbers, a number and a variable, or just variables. But undo using your inverse operations as well as properties of equality to undo the operation and get your variable solved. Because that is the end result, is making sure whatever variable you solve for is isolated at the end. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve literal equations. Thanks.